I'm sure at one point you've asked yourself, how do I get my life together? I'm glad you asked because I'm about to tell you. If you're someone that prides himself in having their life together, then this video is not for you. However, this video is for those that don't have their life together. So if you're still watching, that means you probably feel like a loser, just like me. But fact of the matter is that we're not losers. Oh no, we're much worse. We're pathetic. Pathetic in believing the lie that we are not worthy of greatness and that we have not lived up to the expectations of life. And that is where our key word of the day comes from. Expectations. One of the greatest reasons people have regrets in their life is because they didn't meet their expectations of what they thought their life should be. And unmet expectations lead to great frustration and disappointments and we've all been there but don't feel bad because I mean look at IHOP. IHOP has been open since 1958. That's 60 years and then I don't know where they're like. Gee willigers I really thought pancakes was the way to go. I guess we were wrong. Burgers it is. Society has so many people wrapped up in this illusion that we especially as young people have to have everything figured out by a certain time in our lives. Otherwise Oliver Queen from Arrow's gonna come out and say you have failed this life. We get caught up in the game society says. Society Society says we have to figure out who we are by the time we leave high school, which is almost impossible because, I mean, high school, the real world, mm, very different. Society says we have to travel the world by the time we're 25. Society says we have to figure out the career that will have us balling. Wait, do people still say balling? They don't? Okay. I'm still say it anyways. Bully. We then have to be successful in that career by the time we're 26. We have to own our own home by the time we're 27. We have to get married by the time we're 28. We have to have kids and a family by the time we're 30. All these things, all these pressures, and at one point you probably felt like a failure because you didn't meet these requirements, but that is freaking false. Who says you can't be successful after your 20s? Who says you can't travel the world after your 30s, 40s? And I know it says it's not good for man to be alone, but where in the Bible exactly does it say that I have to get married by the time I'm 28, huh? Mm. If Jesus didn't say it, then the world can't tell me squat! I'm sorry, I'm okay now. Not only that, but then our good friend social media over here makes us believe the next lie. That we live in this worldwide competition where we have to pretend to be happier than everyone else in the public eye. Yo, look at my vacation in Ireland, man. Look how cool my car is. Oh, I just finished closing a high-ranking deal. It's my boyfriend. We've been together for like a month. I am so in love. We're gonna get married. This is a picture of him doing absolutely nothing. Hashtag blessed. Hey, this is your life. Your life. Not your friends, not your family's. Yours. So stop wasting time comparing your life to others and get busy living your own. And although it's good to have those things, I'm not saying it's bad. That is the goal to get your life together. I'm just saying don't be a jerk about it. Be humble. Be encouraging to others. And if you're that type of person, then more power to you. High five. Go ahead. Just high five. Just high five the screen. It's okay. Don't be don't be a jerk. Just, just tap the screen. Thank you. Did you really do it? It's kind of weird. But if you haven't reached that point where you have it all together, then don't worry. It's okay. Don't sweat it. You still have plenty of life left to live to get it right. Truth is, there is no magic recipe to having your life together other than working hard, being kind to people, and adding a little bit of prayer on top. And in the end, it's not bad to have expectations. I mean, that's a good thing to set realistic goals and dream big because we should never, ever settle for less. But all I'm saying is maybe we should stop focusing so much on what our expectations are and start focusing a little bit more on what our reality is, what's right in front of us us and just take it day by day just go with it trying to become a better person giving every effort your mind body and soul can possibly give and I guarantee that one day you will have your success one day your dreams will come true and you will be content and one day you will be glad that you gave it everything you had just make sure that along the way you stay true to yourself don't be an IHOP